Bookshelf tour! Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my updated 2017 bookshelf tour. So this video is easily my most requested video, especially around October and November. A lot of you guys know that at the beginning of the year, bookshelf tours start popping up from people, and I always do mine in January, so you guys have been requesting it for a while now, but now it is finally here, so I'm really happy that I was able to do it for you guys. It took forever to film and edit because they're just a pain to film and edit. It's just really difficult, but I'm so glad that it's done for another year and I think you guys will really enjoy it or at least I hope you do. These are some of my favorite videos to watch so I totally understand why you guys request it all the time because there's just something really fun about seeing all of the books that someone owns. So I just wanted to go over a few kind of frequently asked questions um, before I get started. So first off, how do you own so many books? I have been collecting books for a really long time and I never buy books at full price. I always look for a sale and now that I'm working at a bookstore I do get an employee discount on books which really helps out and I am also able to get books from publishers so because of that and honestly this collection has been growing over years now um, I am able to have a lot of books and books are what I choose to collect so I work really hard for my money and I choose to spend it on books that's just kind of what I do so basically my tips for building up your own collection is don't do it all at once and just look for sales and different deals so you can build up a collection over time so next thing is yes my bookshelves are organized by color and yes series are split up. That doesn't bug me at all. I know it does bug some of you guys, but it doesn't bug me because I find it a lot easier to find books when they're organized by color because I have a very visual memory, especially when it comes to books. So I will remember what a book looks like rather than remembering the title or the author. I usually remember the cover and because of that I recognize the color of it. So I find that organizing my bookshelves by color is the best way for me to do it. And just one last thing really quickly before I get started. Um, in my last book, shelf tour I went through all of the kind of knickknacks that I have on my shelf as well but I'm not going to be doing that in this bookshelf tour since it would just be very long so if you guys wanted a video separately where I kind of go through all the little knickknacks that I keep on my shelf then just let me know down below and I can do that for you guys. So I think those are all the frequently asked questions that I wanted to cover. If you had a question ask down below and I will try to answer it but I'm going to be going through this bookshelf as well as the bookshelf in front of me. I'm just going to be going over. I have a few books that I want to show you guys on the bottom shelf of the bookshelf that's in front of me so I will get to that at the end but let's just dive on into this shelf. So I just wanted to start off by briefly talking about the books that I have on top of my bookshelf as well as I have a couple of knickknacks but I'm not really going to talk about those because if I did that for the whole video this video would literally be an hour long and it probably might get close to that anyways but um so I have my Alice in Wonderland collection on top of my bookshelf and I have it in between these beautiful bookends that I got from a company on Etsy that sent them to me they are beautiful. I will link them down below for you guys. I'm obsessed with them. I'm not going to show you guys my Alice in Wonderland collection because I have done a video um, outlining the whole collection, so I'll link that down below for you guys. I have acquired quite a few since I've done that video, but I will be doing an updated one in the future, so you can see those whenever I do that. So now that you have seen the top of my bookshelf, which you can't really see in my videos generally, we are going to move on to the actual bookshelf bookshelf and start with the red. So let's dive on in. Tea is by Amanda Massiel, Winger and Standoff by Andrew Smith, the two books of the Winger duology, The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter, the second book of the Raven Cycle Quartet, Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, the first book of the Precious Gemstones trilogy, Roseblood by A.G. Howard, Rune and Rising by Lee Bardugo, the final book of the Grisha trilogy, Talon by Julie Kagawa, Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, the first book of the Court of Thorns and Roses series, Asunder by Jody Meadows, the second book of the New Soul trilogy, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, Half Bad by Sally Green, Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, the first book of the Dorothy Must Die trilogy, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, Paper Towns by John Green, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, the second book of the Hunger Games trilogy, The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, the third book of the Heroes of Olympus series, The Scorpio Races 
by Maggie Stiefvater, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Ensnared by A.G. Howard, the third book of the Splinter trilogy, Eon by Alison Goodman, the first book of the Eon duology, The Elite by Kiara Cass, the second book of the Selection series, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, the third book of the Divergent trilogy, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, the first book of the Illuminae files, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, the fourth book of the Mortal Instruments series, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan, the first book of the Trials of Apollo, Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, the second book of the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy, City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, the third book of the Mortal Instruments series, Cure for the Common Universe by Christian McKay Heidegger, Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, the second book in the Throne of Glass series, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, The Duff by Cody Keplinger, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page, the second book of the Dorothy Must Die series, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, the first book of the Mortal Instruments series, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, the first book of the Remnant Chronicles, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, the second book of the Divergent series, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis, the first book in the Chronicles of Narnia, if you read it in chronological order like I do, Splintered by A.G. Howard, Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass, the third book of the Throne of Glass series, Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs, Entwined by Heather Dixon, Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear, the third book of the Precious Gemstones trilogy, Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, the third book of the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy, Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater, the third book of the Raven Cycle Quartet, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, the 2014 Project for Awesome exclusive edition, Infinite by Jodie Meadows, the third book of the New Soul trilogy, Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi, the third book of the Shatter Me trilogy, The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, the third book of the Mara Dyer trilogy, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall, The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Han, The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, the first book of the Heroes of Olympus series, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, the first book of the Falling Kingdom series, Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, the second book of the Grisha trilogy, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. Then we have a box set of the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, so I really don't feel like taking it out. So yeah, you just, you see the spines, that's good enough for that. Layer of Dreams by Libba Bray, the second book in the Diviners trilogy. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. The Selection by Kara Cass, the first book of the Selection series. Zach and Mia by A.J. Betts. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The Disenchantments by Nina LaCour. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Hollowed by Cynthia Hand, the second book in the Unearthly trilogy. The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, the second book of the Illuminae Files. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the second book of the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, the first book of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier, the second book of the Wrath and the Dawn duology. Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, the third book of the Hunger Games trilogy. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan, the second book of the Heroes of Olympus series. Divergent by Veronica Roth the first book of the Divergent series, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, the second book of the Shatter Me trilogy, City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, the second book of the Mortal Instruments series, Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, the first book of the Shatter Me trilogy, Night Owls by Jen Bennett, The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, the second book of the Mara Dyer trilogy, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, the second book of the Court of Thorns and Roses series, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, in. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sanez. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, the first book of the Raven Cycle Quartet. The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory. The Archived by Victoria Schwab. Four by Veronica Roth, the fourth book in the Divergent series. Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear, the second book of the Precious Gemstones trilogy. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, the first book of the Starbound trilogy. A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir, the second book of An Ember in the Ashes series. The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, the second book of the Remnant Chronicles, The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater, the fourth book of the Raven Cycle Quartet, and just at the end, once again, I'm not going to take it out because that would be way too much effort and I am being lazy, but it's the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling and it is the nice scholastic uh, box set that makes Hogwarts with the spine, so I'm sure you've seen the covers, if not, you can Google them. A Million Sons by Beth Revis, the second book of the Across the Universe trilogy, The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, the fifth book of the Heroes of Olympus series, Curtsies and 
Conspiracies by Gail Carriger, the second book of the Finishing School series, By Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, the prequel to the Throne of Glass series, Magonia by Maria Devana Headley, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, the first book of the Throne of Glass series, Serafina by Rachel Hartman, Unhinged by A.G. Howard, the second book of the Splintered trilogy, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, the first book of the Grisha trilogy, The Jewel by Amy Ewing, Unearthly by Cynthia Hand, the first book of the Unearthly trilogy, The Air by Kira Cass, the fourth book of the Selection series, The Effort List by Julie Halpern, What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, The Crown by Kira Cass, the fifth book of the Selection series, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, the first book of the Across the Universe trilogy, Furthermore by Tahara Mafi, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, the first book of the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass, the fourth book of the Throne of Glass series, In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken, the third book of the Darkest Minds trilogy, Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, the first book of the Finishing School series, Boundless by Cynthia Hand, the third book of the Unearthly trilogy, P.S. I Like You by Casey West, Landline by Rainbow Rowell, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, Incarnate by Jody Meadows, the first book of the New Soul trilogy, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, The Program by Suzanne Young, The List of Cages by Robin Bro, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, Just One Year by Gail Foreman, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen, Anna and the Swallowman by Gabrielle Savit, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, Red Queen by Victoria Aviard, Exit Pursuit by Bear by E.K. Johnston, Legend by Marie Lu, the first book of the Legend trilogy, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine, the first book in the Codename Verity duology, Between Shades of Grey by Rudis Apetis, Ink by Amanda Sun, Just One Day by Gail Foreman, the first book of the Just One Day duology, which Just One Year, which I showed a few books ago, is the second book, Frost Blood by Ellie Blake, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, the first two books of the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, The One by Kara Cass, the third book of the Selection series, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, Champion by Marie Liu, the third book of the Legend trilogy, Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Ween, the second book of the Codename Verity duology, Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, the first book of the Gemma Doyle trilogy, The Winner's Curse by Marie Root Koski, Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, A Number in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, In the Shadow of Blackbirds by Kat Winters, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Briggs, the first book of the Miss Peregrine's trilogy, With Malice by Eileen Cook, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche, Hollow City by Ransom Briggs, the second book of the Miss Peregrine's trilogy, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, the first book of the Infernal Devices trilogy, Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, the third book of the Miss Peregrine's trilogy, Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke by Anne Blankman, the second book of the Prisoner of Night and Fog duology, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, the second and third books of the Infernal Devices trilogy, Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman, the first book of the Prisoner of Night and Fog duology, Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche, the second book of the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, the first book of the Mara Dyer trilogy, Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass, the fifth book of the Throne of Glass series, Eona by Alison Goodman, the second book of the Eon duology, Angel Fall by Susan E., City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the sixth book of the Mortal Instruments series, The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, The House of Hades by Rick Riordan, the fourth book of the Heroes of Olympus series, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, the first book of the Darkest Minds trilogy, City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, the fifth book of the Mortal Instruments series, Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, the second book of the Darkest Minds trilogy, Wonder by R.J. Palacio, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Reboot by Amy Tintera, More Than This by Patrick Ness, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, the first book of the Six of Crows duology, Dumplin' by Julie Murphy, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, The Diviners by Libba Bray, the first book of the Diviners trilogy, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, the first book of the Hunger Games trilogy, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, Cinder and Scarlet, the first and second books of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So this is where things get a little bit weird in many ways. So one, we were just right up here on this shelf, but now we're moving down here because my TBR books are here, so it's not really logical, but it makes sense to me. So we're gonna finish off with my red books and then move on to the TBR. And the other thing that's weird is the angle of this whole thing, so I'm very sorry about that. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Yes, I have two copies.
Selfies, Unwind by Neil Schusterman, Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake, This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Heelake, The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman, Prodigy by Marie Lu, the second book of the Legend trilogy, Looking for Alaska by John Green, Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, and Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. So now we're moving over here to where my TBR is, so it's a whole new rainbow starting over again, and this is just books that I haven't read yet, which is why they have yellow dots on them. At least they should. Some of them don't though. And just before we actually get into it, Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo, the second book of the Six of Crows duology, and This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, the second book of the Starbound trilogy, aren't on here because I am currently reading them. So right now they don't have a home other than next to my bed so I can read them. Night Film by Marisha Pessel, Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes, the second book of the Fallen Kingdom series, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis, the fifth book of the Chronicles of Narnia, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, the second book of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes, the third book of the Fallen Kingdom series, The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, The Sweet Far Thing by Liv Bray, the third book of the Gemma Doyle trilogy, Tarnish by Catherine Longshore, The Land of Stories book one, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer, The Other Bowling Girl and the Other Queen by Philippa Gregory, The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan, the second book of the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis, the sixth book of the Chronicles of Narnia, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, The Falconer by Elizabeth May, Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst, Rebel Angels by Liva Bray, the second book of the Gemma Doyle trilogy, The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, the third book of the Remnant Chronicles, The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis, the seventh book of the Chronicles of Narnia, A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston, The Young Elites by Marie Liu, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, Bright Smoke Cold Fire by Rosamund Hodge, Prince Caspian by C.S. Lewis, the fourth book of the Chronicles of Narnia, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan, the first book of the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed, Crest by Marissa Meyer, the third book of the Lunar Chronicles, Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, the third book of the Starbound trilogy, Black Dove White Raven by Elizabeth Ween, Spindle by E.K. Johnston, I'm Not Your Manic Pixie Dream Girl by Gretchen McNeil, Wanderlust by Jen Malone, A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, The Fill and Boyfriend by Casey West, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, Rain by Amanda Sun, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis, the third book of The Chronicles of Narnia, Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter, A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes, Ferris by Marissa Meyer, Book 3.5 of The Lunar Chronicles, The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst, A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues, The Walled City by Ryan Grodden, The Thousand Floor by Catherine McGee, The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons, Venom by Fiona Paul, Truth Witch by Susan Denard, Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter, Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman, The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, Winter and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, the fourth book and a collection of stories from the Lunar Chronicles, and finally Vicious by V.E. Schwab. So the camera couldn't possibly be at a weirder angle, but we're just gonna put up with it because I wanted to show you guys these shelves quickly so you guys can see them. I have audiobooks on here, I have photo albums, random stuff, mugs, um, I have my Hamilton books, my Harry Potter Illustrated Editions, a Doctor Who book, all that fun stuff. And then at the shelf next to it I have all of my coloring books and I have the coloring supplies with them as well. I did do a coloring book collection fairly recently this past summer so I will link that down below for you guys and I'll probably do an update in the future, I just don't know when. And then these shelves we don't really talk about because they are an absolute sty so they're just yeah. So also just really quickly I have these shelves that are over top of my desk. It's mostly classics and it's kind of my collectible classics editions on the two top shelves so I have done a video all about that collection so I will link that down below for you guys. I might do an update, let me know if that's something that you would be interested in but I am going to show you the arcs and books that I have that I might review soon that are on the bottom shelf. So like I said I have the books that I might review soon over here and then I have the arcs that I have that are coming out soon over here. They go in descent ascending order I believe. They go from January to March so if that makes any sense except for Wind Witch because that one's really big and it would mess up the whole aesthetic of the pile. So starting with the books that I have to review I have Frost Like Night by Sarah Rush, the third book of the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, The Valiant by Leslie Livingston, and By Your Side by Casey West. So now for my ARCS TBR which is Advanced Reader Copy and To Be Read because I know someone is going to ask what both of those abbreviations mean. We have Caraval by Stephanie Garber, the 
audiobook edition, which is narrated by Rebecca Solar, Our Own Private Universe by Robin Talley, Optimus Die First by Susan Nielsen, The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin Alir Sanez, Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner, Hunted by Megan Spooner, The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco, and Wind Witch by Susan Denard, which is technically already out, but I haven't read the first one yet, so I haven't read this one yet, so I'm prioritizing it, which is why it is still on the ARCs TBR. So it is literally four days after I filmed my whole bookshelf tour, but I forgot to film an outro and I was editing it when I realized that, so I also realized that I uh, forgot to mention one of the other things I wanted to mention before watching the video, um, and that is the fact that, sorry my hand is shaking so much holding my phone right now, but that is the fact that for books that I mentioned the series, that's books that I have another book in that series, so that's why only some of them I said the series for, even though there were some that were parts of series. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.